August 17th, we're playing the Nine of Clubs, I'm according Ale I'm to Alexander. the source cards. And I'm Vicky. Yeah. The game of life, it's in the cards. Ancient system of knowledge, regular deck of playing cards, it's the source Not cards. Not so regular, it's actually sacred geometry. These are sacred geometric patterns. It's a meta-symbolic visual language, ancient language of life that goes all the way back to Samaria, the Mesopotamian myths. This information is already present, and in the Sumerian myth, they claim that their gods gave it to them. So when you go all the way back to the beginning of the earliest known civilization on the planet, this knowledge was already present, and human beings do not claim credit for creating it. Very interesting. This energy pattern is in play for everyone today. Nine of Clubs is the energy pattern that's we're all in right now. Yep, we're right. all flowing through it. Mm -hmm. What we think of as time is actually an energy field. Yes. The nine endings, completions. The largest number. Taking goes up things to, nine to the and next then it level. Doesn't go any further. Clubs represent the mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think this pattern represents? Why is that pip? This is a pip. These are called pips. Why is that in the center? What does that mean? What does that mean to you? Mm. What about that? Uh-oh. <laughs> so endings and completions yes. of the mind. What could that be? What could that mean? You're what does that mean for you today? Thinking about things to the nines. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. How's that going to show up in your day? We all have free will about how we want to engage these energy patterns. But if you don't know what the patterns are, then you might get played, yeah. so to speak. You may not know what's going on, and then you may find yourself as a victim of your reality, where you feel victimized by reality, instead of being the master, who can play the game of reality mm -hmm. according to your own free will, your own consciousness. And that's what we're here to do, is to give you that power of consciousness for yourself, so that you know what's happening, you know the patterns that are in play, and then you can choose wisely. And every day is so different. Yeah. You know, this is so different from yesterday's card that was in play and tomorrow's card that's in play. So, right. you know, it's utilizing that energy to the best that you can have a really good day for yourself. You know, have the awareness, be aware of what's going on, mm -hmm. why you're feeling the way you're feeling, why you think the way you think. Oh, that's why. Right. You know, and this, there's an energy pattern that's in play that's affecting all of us. Right, and again, this is so. a symbol. That's all it is. It's a symbol of this energy pattern. In the pit pattern, as Vicki mentioned earlier, there are clues to understand what this pattern is like that we're engaging all of us, this energy field. The pip pattern of this symbol tells us, here are the things to look out for, here are the things to watch out for, be aware of this. Once you know how to read this pattern, it will all make sense. So what do you sense this pattern means? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know. What do you, what do you feel when you look at this? Yeah, and if you want support to play your cards right, that's when all the magic happens. When you start to play your cards right, yeah. everything lines up. Serendipity, synchronicity. We're the guinea pigs, we know. <laughs> we tried it out. We know that it works. Yeah. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. All we'll right, see you enjoy. tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.